Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Muttering, I got up weakly, always had that trouble sleeping. Stumbling upright, my mind racing, furtive thoughts flowing once more, I there hoping for some sunrise, happiness would be a surprise. Loneliness, no longer a prize. Rapping at my chamber door, seeking out the clever boar, lost in dreams forevermore, only this and nothing more. Hovering, my pulse was racing, stale tobacco, my lips tasting scotch, sitting upon my face and remnants of the night before, came again. In front, tapping on the door, and in my mind jabbing, is it in or outside rapping, calling out to me once more the fit and fury of Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of the purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, oh, wind, stop breathing. Hoping yet to calm my breathing, tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some lost visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is it and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming fantasies no mortal dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no token. And the only word there spoken was the whispered name, Lenore. This, I thought, and out loud whispered from my lips, the foul name festered, echoing itself, merely this and nothing more. Back into my chamber, turning every nerve within me burning, when once again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my iron staircase. Open the door to see what thread is. Open the window, free the shutters, let us this mystery explore. Oh, bursting heart, be still this once! And let this mystery explore. It is the wind and nothing more. Just one epithet I muttered as inside I gagged and shuddered when with manly flirt and flutter in there flew a stately raven. Sleek and ravenous as any foe, not the least obeisance made he not a minute's gesture toward me of recognition or politeness, but perched above my chamber door. This foul and salivating visage, insinuating with its knowledge, perched above my chamber door, silent sat and staring. Nothing more. A scance, askew, the self-said fancy smiles at you, I swear, at this savage, vicious countenance it wears. Though you show here, shorn and shaven, and I admit myself forlorn and craven, ghastly grim, an ancient raven wandering from the opiate shores, tell me what thy lordly name is, that you are not nightmare sewage, some dire powder drink or inhalation framed from flames of downtown lore, quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, sitting lonely, staring sickly at my male sex only, that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Pathetic. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather that he fluttered, till finally was I that muttered as I stared dully at the floor. Other friends have flown and left me, flown as each and every hope has flown before, as you no doubt will for the morrow, but the bird said, never more. Then I felt the air grow denser perfumed from some unseen incense, as though accepting angelic intrusion, when in fact I felt collusion before the guise of false memories respite. Respite through the haze of cocaine's glory, I smoke and smoke the blue vial's glory to forget at once the base Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bend above us, by that God we both ignore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, willful and destructive intent, how had lapsed a pure heart lady to the greediest of needs. Sweaty, arrogant, dickless liar, who ascribed to nothing higher than a jab, from prick to needle, straight to betrayal and disgrace, the conscience showing not a trace, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I yelled up starting. Get thee back into the tempest, into the smoke-filled bottle shore. Leave no black plume as a token of the slime thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit as those have quit before. Take the talon from my heart and see that I can care no more. Whatever mattered came before, I vanished with the dead Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore.
But the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, silent, sitting above a painting, silent painting of the forever silenced whore, and his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming. And the lamplight over him, streaming, throws his shadow to the floor. I love she who hates me more. I love she who hates me more. And my soul shall not be lifted from that shadow, nevermore.